아, 아, 아. 어, 잠깐. 여러분, 지금은 들리죠? But I don't want to use this one. I want to use this. 아, 아, 여러분, 지금은 들리죠? 지금은 들리시죠? 아, 미안해요. I should have done the micro, microphone testing in advance. 요거는 들리죠? I don't like to use this mic because it's a built-in mic of my computer, so it's not as good, you know? 어, 근데 어때요, 여러분? Does it sound okay? Is there any, like, white noise? Background noise 있어요, 혹시? 으, 이러면 안 되는데. All good, 잘 들려요? Uh, the one that I do want to use doesn't seem to work. I have no idea why. I think maybe it's because I updated this, uh, this live software. Um, and then I didn't, I don't know, didn't change the setting. 잘 들려요? 괜찮아요? 으, 이런, 이럴 수가. 이럴 수가. Such an unexpected problem. 어, 잠깐만요, 여러분. 한 번만 다시 해볼게요. 아, 그러면 계속 그냥 이 마이크로 할까요? Shall I just use this microphone and just continue? 좀 아쉽다. 좀 아쉬워요. <웃음> 그냥 이거로 할까요? 그래요. 그렇게 하죠, 뭐. 어, 그러니까 한 번만 시도해보고 안 되면은 I'll try one more time and if it doesn't work, I'm just gonna go with this mic. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, 여러분, 이제 들리죠? 여러분, 이제 들려요? <laughs> I just disconnected my microphone and then connected it again. And I think it's working now, right? It, it is working. Yes, yes, it is working, guys. Oh, I'm so happy. <laughs> 미안해요, 여러분. Sorry about the fuss, guys. Sorry. I, I didn't see it coming at all. Oh. 미안해요. 그래도 I'm glad you guys are here now. Oh, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm glad the microphone is working. Ooh, okay. All right. Uh, for some reason, I feel a little nervous. I don't know why, but hopefully the class goes well and hopefully you guys uh, take away as many words as you can, okay? Okay, 좋아요. So today we're going to have a long vocabulary session, uh, which means we'll be learning a lot of words today. And the topic of today's class is many different words for wear and take off in Korean. And I actually shared the link to uh, the quiz set a week ago on my community post so that you guys can, you know, you guys have enough time to like check all the word lists and, you know, you can do a little preview to follow the class better. Okay. Uh, 그리고, um, okay, so... If you already checked that list, uh, you will find it a lot easier to follow this class. But if not, that's okay. Mm. You can still follow me. So in English, you can pretty much use wear for anything you wear, right? You wear clothes, you wear shoes, hat, mask, earrings, uh, ring, glasses, earphones, right? <laughs> and the same goes uh, with taking off. But in Korean, we have many different words for wear and take off. And it depends on which body part we put on or what sort of an accessory uh, that we put on, what sort of trait an accessory has. And we're going to go over all of those verbs along with the words for different items. And let's start with clothes, guys. Clothes. Clothes is 옷 in Korean. 옷. You know what? This one actually looks like a person, a person's head with a neck. And maybe an arm and a leg. <laughs> so, 옷 is something that we put on a person's body. Um, 옷, 옷. And it's, you know, clothes are something that you we put on our body, uh, like on our body as a whole, not on like very specific body parts like nails or fingers, right? It's just something that we put on our body. And in, for those kinds of clothes, those kind of uh, outfit, we use 입다 for wear. 
ipta. Ipta. And before we make actual sentences with ipta, let's look at the types of clothing there are and how to say them in Korean. So, whoops. All right. So this kind of shirt, we call them t-shirt. 아이고 이거 이거. 이거 영어로 쓰지? <웃음> we call them t-shirt라고 불러요. 이런 셔츠. Through Sergio and your 옷장. 맞아요. Oh, it's a closet. Oh. <웃음> it's kind of like a closet. All the clothes are compi uh, co compiled here. So this one is t-shirt. 그리고 이런 button down shirt 있잖아요. Button down shirt는 그냥 셔츠라고 불러요. We just call it shirt, 셔츠, 셔츠 for button down shirts and for regular t-shirt, regular shirt that we wear, we call it 티셔츠, 티셔츠. Obviously, they're Konglish words. 그리고 for pants, guys, pants, you can say 바지, 바지라고 하면 돼요. 바지, 바지. 근데 if you want to say jeans, we say blue jeans. 우리는 blue jeans라고 해. 아, uh, sorry, blue pants. We say blue pants. So this 한자 means this 한자 means blue, and in Korean we call it 청. So if you say 청바지, it means blue pants. So jeans, jeans. 그리고 uh, for these kind of shorts, for short pants, shorts, we say it's half pants, half. 반. 그래서 반바지라고 불러요. 반바지, 반바지. 그리고 this kind of outerwear, guys, outerwear. 요거는 외투라고 불러요. 외투, literally outer to clothes. 외투, 외투. 그리고 요런 점퍼 같은 거 있잖아요. Jumper, we call it 잠바. 잠바, 에고 에고. 잠바라고 하거나. 잠깐만요. 어... 어디 갔어? 아 미안해요. 잠바라고 하거나 자켓이라고 해도 돼요. 잠바 혹은 자켓, 어, 자켓이라고도 하고 미안해요. 여기서 외투라고도 하고 I forgot to tell you. You can also say 거옷, 거옷 for outwear, outwear. 그리고 잠바 means jumper or you can say 자켓, 자켓. So all these attires are very, you know, all these outfits are really easy to remember because most of them are from English words, right? They're Konglish words. Most of them, not all of them, though. Kuriko, mm. this one as well, we say it's a coat. Coat, coat. Mm. So those are kind of clothing that we have. Also, uh, as for skirts or dress, all of them, we call them chima. We call all of them chima. So chima includes both skirts and dresses. Skirts and dresses. But when you want to say this kind of short skirt, a uh, short skirt, like half, half skirt, not one piece clothing, but just piece for your, uh, piece for uh, well, lower body, we call it, we call, you can say skirts is chima. Skirts, you can just say chima, chima. And uh, just, so just like I said, this one is also chima. But we have another way of calling this type of dress, which is one piece. 이런 거는 이제 one piece라고 해요. One piece, one piece. 왠지 알것 같아요? Can you guys guess why? Because it's one piece dress. One piece dress. So we call casual dress, casual one piece dress, uh, one piece. One piece라고 해요. One piece. 오웬님이 반치마 사실 반치마라고 하진 않아요. We don't say 반치마, but if you want to say mini skirt, like skirt that's too short, you can say mini skirt. <laughs> this is also a Konglish word. Mini skirt라고 하면 돼요. A mini skirt. But 반치마 is not a word that we use. 반치마. I've actually never heard of it mm, being used. 다음에 어, 이런 거 이제 one piece라고 하고요. This kind of casual one piece type of dress, we call it one piece. 그리고 이런 fancy dress 있잖아요. Fancy dress. 이런 것들은 어, dress라고 해요. Dress, dress. So in Korean, if we say dress, it usually refers to a fancy dress that you wear for special occasions. Dress, dress라고 합니다. 그리고 이런 거 있잖아요. 이런 거 진짜 formal 한 suit, formal suit 이런 것들은 정장이라고 불러요. 정장, 정장, 
정장. It literally means uh, official, like formal suit. 정장, 정장. It's something that you would wear to like a professional interview, right? 정장. <laughs> 그리고 let's move on to pajamas. Pajamas. 여러분, can you guess how to call a pajama in Korean? Pajama는 진짜 쉬워요. It's a combination of sleep plus clothes. Sleep clothes. 잠옷. 잠옷. Sleep clothes is pajamas. Sleepwear. 잠옷. 잠옷. 그리고 아까 여러분, 겉옷 무슨 뜻인지 기억나요? Do you guys remember what 겉옷 meant? 겉옷. 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 겉옷은 발음이 이렇게 돼요. 겉옷. 겉옷. 겉옷 아까 무슨 뜻이었는지 기억나요? 겉옷 refers to these types of clothes that you wear outside. So outwear, outerwear, your outer. So this is something that we wear outside. So we call it 겉옷. 겉 means outer. And for underwear, underwear, it's something that we wear inside, right? Inside. So it's the opposite of 겉옷, which would be 속옷. 속옷. 속 means inside, 옷 means clothes, so 속옷 means underwear. 속옷 and 겉옷. So here you can take away these two vocabularies. 겉 means outside, 속 means inside. 다음에, oh, for swimming suit, guys, swimming suit, we say 수영. So 수영 means swimming, right? 수영. And it would be really cool if we say 수영 옷, right? That would be such an easy way to remember, but uh, instead of 옷, we say 복 this time. Mm. 복 is a word from a uh, Chinese character which also means clothes. So 수영복, we say 수영복 for swimming suit, mm. swimsuit, not 수영옷. 수영, 수영복, 수영복. 그 다음에, 어, 어, 요런 거는 이제 비키니라고 해요. 맞아요. 요런 거는 비키니. Oh, this, these types of uh, swimsuit we call it bikini, bikini. 그냥 Konglish word로 비키니. 라고 하고요. 그리고 이런 거 있잖아요. 이런 거. Clothes that you wear when you're working out. You can say it's very easy. 운동. 운동. I mean, uh, it's not very easy, but uh, it follows the same kind of pattern with 수영복. So 수영복 is 복. Clothes that you wear while you're swimming. And 운동복 is the workout clothes. So literally, it's workout 운동 복. Clothes. 운동복. 운동복. 복 is like a costume. Mm. 맞아요. 복 is from 그 푸. Chinese character 푸. And it means uh, clothes. Outfit. Attire. Oh, 복. 그래서 복 means costume. 맞아요. 그래서 한복도 맞아요. 한복도 한복 literally means Korean clothes. 한복. 한복. So 복 means that. 다음에 스포츠복이라고 말해도 되나요? 어, 스포츠복. 스포츠웨어. 아, 솔직히 it makes sense to say 스포츠복. 근데 I've never heard anybody saying this uh, in my entire life. But it does make sense. 스포츠복. Uh, we most we more say 스포츠웨어 though. 스포츠웨어. 스포츠웨어. Obviously, it comes from sportswear, right? Sportswear. So we tend to use full Konglish word rather than mixing up with English and uh, Sino-Korean word. 스포츠북은 조금 아, 안 들어본 것 같아요. 어, athletic wear, 도니 씨. 맞아요. 운동복, athletic wear. 그러면 이제, 아이고, 이거 지워야 되는데. <웃음> 아, 그러면은 let's do a quick sentence making practice before we move on to the next set of words. 일단은 여러분, do you guys remember how to say shorts? Shorts 어떻게 말하는지 기억나시나요? Literally, it's half pants, right? Half pants. Half pants, 뭐였죠? 바로 반, half, 반바지였죠. 반바지였고, for wear, we learned that you can use 입다, right? 입다. 그러면 여러분, can you try saying, I'm wearing shorts. Like right now, I'm wearing shorts. I have shorts on. 어떻게 말하면 좋을까요? And there are actually two main ways, you can say two most common ways, I mean two most grammatically correct ways to say I'm wearing shorts. So first one is you can say 반바지 or 반바지를 반바지를 
you conjugate 입다 in 그렇죠. present progressive 맞아요. 빌리아나 씨가 쓴 것처럼 저는 반바지를 입고 있어요. That is correct. So you can conjugate 입다 in present progressive. 그래서 반바지를 입고 있어요. You can say this. And could you, can you try guessing what would be another form? 사실 이렇게 반바지를 입어요는 안 돼요. 여기서는. 입어요는 입어요 means something else which I'll cover soon. 여기서는 you have to say 반바지를 입었어요. 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 And I'll tell you the reason why, guys. So 입다 actually has two meanings, guys. Two meanings. It means to wear and it also means to put on. To put on. So by saying 반바지를 입었어요. It means you're wearing shorts as a result of finishing putting on your 반바지 and your shorts. So you can say 반바지를 입었어요 for I'm wearing shorts right now. And to indicate that that's a result of my finished action of putting on the shorts. 그래서 반바지를 입었어요가 맞아요. 반바지를 입었어요. 그래서 you can use either present progressive or past tense of 입다 when you want to say you're wearing something. 그러면 here then, what would be the difference between 입었어요 and 입고 있어요? 일단은 입고 있어요 only means I am wearing, right? It only means present progressive. But 입었어요 can mean two things. It can mean, since it's past conjugated tense, you, it, can, it can mean you wore it in the past. Like I wore it yesterday. 어제 어, 수영복을 입었어요. Uh, I wore it yesterday. I'm not wearing it right now. That's what I wore yesterday. 그럴 때쓸수 있고요. 그리고 just like we learned just now, you can also use it for I'm wearing it right now as a result of putting something on. Mm. 그래서 입었어요, 입고 있어요. 그렇게 차이고요. Mm. 그런 difference가 있고요. 그리고 이제 입고 있어요, on the other hand, would only mean present progressive. So, just like I explained here, guys, it, 입다 means either to wear or to put on. So, if you say 입고 있어요, it would mean one of the two things, right? You're wearing something right now, like you have something on right now, on you, right? Or it could also be you're in the middle of putting it on right now. Maybe you're changing, or maybe... You just got up and you have to, you're, you're, you're putting on your clothes. You're in the middle of doing that, right? You're in the middle of doing that action. So, 입고 있어요 can have those two meanings. 그리고 이제, so then what would be the difference between 입고 있어요 and 입는 중이에요, guys? 입고 있어요 and 입는 중이에요. 어떤 차이가 있을까요? But then just like I explained just now, 입고 있어요 has these two meanings. I'm wearing it right now, like I have it on right now, and I'm putting it on right now, like I'm doing the action of putting it on right now. But 입는 중이에요 only has one meaning, which is you're in the middle of putting it on right now. 입는 중이에요 does not mean you have it on right now. It only means you're in the process, you're in the middle of wearing something, putting, putting it on your body. 그런 뜻이 있어요. 그래서 that would be the difference between 입고 있어요 and 입는 중이에요. 음. 그렇죠. Currently in the process of putting on. 그렇죠. 그런 뜻이에요. 입는 중이에요는 나. 음. 그 다음에 어, 그러면은 what would when would you use 입어요? Then 입어요. 입다스 present tense는 언제 쓸까요? 요거는 이거 요거는 그냥 아 uh, it's used you know. It's mostly, it's used when you want to say, I usually wear it. Like, for example, there are some girls who don't like wearing skirts, right? And those kinds of people can say, 아, 저는, 저는, 저는 바지, 바지, pants, 바지만 입어요. 바지만 입어요. In this case, you're describing your usual tendency that you wear only 바지. In this case, you can use the present tense of 입다. And say 입어요. 그렇게 하면 되고요. And 입어요 can also be used when you are, you know, commanding the other person to wear it, right? Oh, wear it. Hey, wear it. In that sentence, wear it has to be conjugated in present tense, right? So 
if you if you want to tell them to wear something I'm sorry put something on put something on if you want someone to if you want to tell someone to put something on you can use eboyo so for example if you want to tell your friends to put on their coat because it's cold outside here you can say if you're talking to your friends you can use Italian's version is 존댓말 version and my version is 반말 version so 코트를 입어 put on your clothes I mean put on your coat 밖에 outside 어 밖에 진짜 추워 밖에 추워 이렇게 쓰면 되고 Italian's version 입으세요 이거 잘했어요 아주 잘했어요 this would be uh, if that's honorific form so 존댓말 form Okay, 그 다음에 random님 반갑습니다. Wow, you have a cat on your profile picture. I really love it. I already really like you. <laughs> okay, 그 다음에 그렇게 쓸수 있어요. 그러면 여러분, 이거 해봅시다. Let's try translating this sentence, guys. I wear the same t-shirt every day. I wear the same t-shirt every day. So for the adjective same, you can use 똑같은. 아이고. 똑같은. 어 너무 굵다. 너무 굵어요. It's too thick. 조금 이렇게 얇게 해야겠다. 어. 똑같은을 쓰시면 되고요. 아니면 그냥 같은이라고 해도 돼요. 똑같은 or 같은. And do you remember how to say T-shirt, guys? T-shirt. I leave it up to you. <laughs> um, and every day you can use 매일. So the point of this translation would be uh, whether you understood what form of wear you should be using. Oh, depending on the situation. So, oh, 그렇죠. 매일 같은 티셔츠 입어요. This is a perfect translation and perfect sentence. 매일 같은 티셔츠 입어요. 그렇죠. You have to be using 입어요, 입어요. Because you are expressing your usual tendency, right? I usually wear t-shirts, the same t-shirt every day. So you should, you know, it's mo it sounds most natural to use um, a present, present uh, conjugation. Present conjugation. 그리고 저는 매일 똑같은 티셔츠를 입어요. 오케이, okay, 좋아요. 응, 여러분 다 잘했어요. 다 잘했어요. 응, 좋아요. You guys are getting it. 어, 그 다음에, 그 다음 건 어떨까? 이것도 쉽네요. 이것도 쉽죠? It's the same pattern. It's the sentence of same pattern as the previous one. So how would you say... Oh, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. No, no, this is for the next part. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Why is it here? Why is it here? So socks is for footwear, guys. So ittayo doesn't apply to the sentence. Just, just ignore this, guys. Ignore this. We'll, we're, we'll come back to this. We'll come back to this. And let's try this one. Let's try this one then. I'm not wearing skirt. So here, this person is saying, I'm not wearing, right? I'm not wearing as in I don't have it on right now. So since it's negation, oh, you, can, you can use an. And how would you conjugate wear then? Wear. Wear it. 어떻게 conjugate 하면 맞는 문장이 될까요? I'm not wearing skirts. I'm not wearing skirts. 다음에 skirt는 치마였잖아요. 그쵸? 치마. 치마. I'm not wearing skirts. 어떻게 하면 좋을까요? 치마를 아, uh, okay. 어, 치마를 안 입고 있어요. First one. 그렇죠. 치마를 안 입고 있어요. 음. 치마를 입지 않고 있어야도 되고. 그리고 치마를 안 입고 있어요. Or conjugate it or negate it different way. 입지, 입지 않고 있어야도 맞고. 그 다음에 what else, guys? What else? How can you conjugate it? What other way can you conjugate it? Oh, 일단 저는 치마를 안 입어요는 안 돼요. 저는 치마를 안 입어요 would mean I don't wear skirts like at all. I usually don't wear skirts. 그렇죠. 안 입었어요. Oh, this is a typo here. 입었어요. 그렇죠? 입었어요. 치마를 치마를 안 입었어요가 맞죠. 입었어요. 안 입었어요. Because we learned here that if you want to say you're wearing something right now, you can use either present progressive or past tense, right? And past tense because you want to indicate that you are wearing something as a result of putting something on. 그래서 either past tense or present progressive로 쓰는 거고요. 좋아요. 그 다음에 볼게요. 
그 다음에 uh, So I sleep with my pajamas on I work out with my workout clothes on I swim with my swimsuit on Let's learn how to express these types of uh, uh, sentences 일단은 여러분 혹시 pajama Do you guys remember how to say pajama? Literally 아이고 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 Sorry sorry I should close this oh, uh, Literally it's um, sleep clothes right? Sleep clothes 그렇죠 오해님 잠옷이에요 Oops. 음, 잠옷. 아이고 아이고 왜 이렇게 자꾸 작아지니? 어. 아 뭐야. 근데 마우스를 치워야겠다. 미안해요. 나는 그렇죠. 잠옷이에요, 여러분. 잠옷. 그러면 how about workout clothes? Workout clothes는 어떻게 하면 될까요? How would you say workout clothes? Workout clothes. Literally, exercise and sino Korean word for clothes. 기억나요? 이거는 운동 운동복 그렇죠 클라우드님 언니 운동복이었죠 운동복 그 다음에 how about swimsuit guys swimsuit은 어떻게 말할까요? You can combine uh, 수영 and oh sorry <laughs> swim and I already told you the answer that's okay swim and clothes swim and clothes 그렇죠 수영복 수영복 맞아요 언니 수영복 그러면은 if you want to say with this clothes on, it's very simple, guys. You can just say, so for pajamas on, with my pajamas on, you can just say, 잠옷을, 잠옷을 입고, you can just say 입고, 입고, and this would mean while wearing. You don't have to say 입어서, I mean, you cannot say 입어서 or 입는 동안 when you want to say you already have it on. This doesn't make sense. So if you want to say while I have my pajamas on, with my pajamas on, you can say 입고, 잠옷을 입고, I sleep. 자요, 자요, 잠옷을 입고, 자요. 그 다음에, I work out with my workout clothes on. So work out, to work out is 운동하다. Then how would you translate this sentence, guys? I work out with my workout clothes on. 이거는 어떻게 말하면 될까요? I work out with my workout clothes on. So you can apply the same pattern, right? 운동복을 운동복을 입고 운동복을 입고 아, 자요, sorry. 운동해요. 운동해요. 그렇죠, 여러분. 잘하고 있어요. 운동복을 입고 운동해요. 그러면은 마지막으로 I swim with my swimsuit on. 는 어떻게 말하면 될까요? Swim is 수영하다. Swim은 수영하다예요. 그래서 I swim with my swim, swimsuit on. 이것도 똑같은 패턴이죠. 똑같은 패턴. 그래서 음, 수영복을 입고 수영해요. 그렇죠. 수영복을 입고 수영해요가 맞습니다. 수영복을 입고 입고 수영해요. 오케이 좋아요. 여러분 잘 하고 있어요. 잘 하고 있어요. 어, 안녕하세요, 핑크텔 도구님. 음, thank you for joining. Okay, 그래서 we learned how to use 입다 with many different items of clothing. And now, so remember, 옷, these types of clothing can be used with 입다 verb, 입다 verb. And next one, guys, next one. Let's move on to footwear, guys, footwear. Shoes, shoes. So, 신발, 신발 하면은 shoes란 뜻이에요. 신발, 신발. 그리고 for 신발, for wearing shoes, it's quite easy to remember because, as you can see, they both start with 신. <웃음> 그래서 신발은 신다예요. 신발은 신다. 신발, 신다. Easy, right? <웃음> 아, 그리고 uh, actually, 옷도요. 옷도 입다. 옷 starts with 이응 consonant uh, as well as 입다. So does 입다. So maybe you can make that kind of connection to maybe consolidate your memory. <laughs> Hope that helps. So 신발은 신다고요. I actually, guys, I do not know that many types of shoes, so I didn't bring, you know, a lot of types of shoes. <laughs> 그래서 please understand me, guys. I'm not like a fashionista. I'm not, you know, fashion savvy. So please understand, guys. Um, but this is what I like to wear usually. 저는 이거 신는 거 되게 좋아해요. 이거는 바로 
이제 workout, uh, workout shoes or running shoes all together we just call them 운동화 운동화 운동화라고 불러요. 그렇죠. 운동화. 여기서 this 화 means shoes, guys. Uh, shoes. It comes from Chinese word 시에, I believe. 시에, uh, Chinese word. And it means shoes. So 운동화 means workout shoes. And it refers to like running shoes, uh, sports shoes, sneakers, all those kinds of shoes that you wear uh, casually when you're walking or running or working out. 그래서 운동화. 저는 운동화 너무... 좋아해요. Oh, wow. Tokin Nim, thank you so much for the donation and also for such encouraging message. 괜찮아요. 지금 아프시구나. 아프시구나. 나중에 다시 you can come back to join. You know, you can come back to watch the uh, playback. So no worries. No worries. But thank you for joining and thank you for staying so far. Also, thank you for the donation. Thank you so much. Oh, 너무너무 고맙습니다. And, 아무튼 운동화예요, 여러분. 그리고 이제 이런 것들은 이런 것들은 dress shoes라고 하잖아요. Dress shoes, dress shoes, uh, dress shoes. You can say they're 구두, 구두라고 하면 돼요. 구두. 이거 색깔이 왜 이렇게 칙칙해졌지? 구두, 음, 구두라고 하면 돼요. 구두. Like formal shoes, guys. Formal shoes. You can use 구두. And do you guys remember how to say formal clothes? Formal clothes는 뭐였죠? Formal clothes, like suit. Suit, suit. You can say 정장, right? 정장. And 구두 is also dress shoes, formal shoes. And this type of high heel shoes is also called 구두, guys. 구두. 근데 if you want to specifically say high heel shoes in Korean, there are three ways you can say it. We either say 힐. 아이고 아이고. 왜안 써지지? 힐. 아이고, heel. You can just say heel or high heel, <laughs> high heel. So you can you can kind of you know figure out where it comes from, which English word heel, high heel, and the pure Korean word would be kub, kubi or kub, 높은 구두, 구비 높은 구두. So literally, 구두, the dress shoes that have high kub, kub. And kub refers to the heel of shoes. Yoko, yeah, kub. So kubi, nopayo, heel is high. So kudu that has high heel. You can say this. And for slippers, guys, slippers, we say it's uh, shoes, hua. It's a shoes that we wear on the inside. Silne, silne, silne. So si means like room, room. 네 means inside. 네 always usually has to do with something inside, guys. So if you want to say someone's introverted, you say that person is 내성적이다. Mm. So 네 many times has to do with inside. So it's a shoes that you wear, that you wear on the inside of the room, inside. So 실내화라고 해도 되고, 그냥 슬리퍼라고 해도 돼요. 슬리퍼. 그리고 아, <웃음> 케이디 님이 어, 신발 그리고 슬립 슬리퍼스 쪼리 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 이게 뭐냐면요. 이게 플립플롭이에요, 여러분. For flip flop we say 쪼리. <웃음> oh my gosh. 쪼리 쪼리 or 조리. I, I, I think it's probably spelled this way, but most most people pronounce it 쪼리. 쪼리. And sandal, walker, boots. As you can see a lot of Shoes, a lot of words for shoes come from English words. So, uh, you can check this as a reference for the name of shoes in Korean. Socks Doesn't it sound cute? 여러분, 이... 단어, 양말이라는 단어 귀엽게 들리지 않아요? <웃음> Doesn't 양말 sound cute? 양말, 양말, 양말. 아무튼 여러분, uh, let's move on to sentence making practice. So I'm wearing a high-heeled shoes. I'm wearing high-heeled shoes. And since you're wearing shoes, for wear you can use 신다. And the same grammatical conjugation rule applies for 신다 as well. And all the other verbs that corresponds to wear. So now that you know 
you know, kind of a grammar on which, uh, which tends to conjugate it to. Mm. Let's try uh, making sentence. So how would you say I'm wearing a high heel shoes? I'm wearing a high heel shoes. High heel shoes. Let's just say high heel. High heel. High heel. 아, 그렇죠. 하이힐 신고 있어서. 맞아요. 하이힐 신고 있어서. 하이힐 신고 있어서. 좋아요. 하이힐, 하이힐을 신고 있어서. 신고 있어서. You can use, you can conjugate it in present progressive. So, 신고 있어서. My feet hurt. 발이, 발이 아파요. 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 발이 아파요. 오케이, 좋아요. So, 발 means feet, foot. 아파요 means it hurts or I'm sick. 아파요 can mean two things, I'm sick or it hurts. 좋아요. 그리고 you can also say 하이힐 신어서. 하이힐 신어서. 신어서. But didn't you say you cannot conjugate it in present tense? And the reason why it's uh, conjugated in present tense here is because, so if you want to say I'm wearing high heels right now, you can say 저는 하이힐 신었어요. 어, 신었어요. You can say 신었어요. 신었어요. But 아어서, this grammar guys, 아어서 cannot be conjugated with present, I mean past tense stem. It cannot be conjugated with past tense. That's why, uh, inevitably, it has to change to present tense. Mm. But if you're writing it in plain sentence with the conjugation ending, you can conjugate it in past tense. 저는 하이힐을 신고 있어요. Or 저는 하이힐을 신었어요. Both for wearing, I'm wearing high heel shoes. 그 다음에, let's move on to this one, guys. I don't wear socks in summer. I don't wear socks in summer. So in summer, you can say 여름에, 여름에. And how would you say I don't wear socks? 그렇죠. 여름에 양말을 안 신어요. This time you would want to conjugate it in present tense because you're talking about your usual tendency of not wearing socks in summer. 그래서 여름에 양말을 여름에 양말을 아이고 잘안 보이시죠? 양말을 안 신어요 라고 할수 있어요. Or 신지 않아요 would be another form of negation. 그 다음에, okay, now, now that we're done with footwear, guys, for footwear, you can use 신다, right? 신다. This was a pretty easy part. And now we're going to move on to accessories, guys, accessories. And for the accessory part, guys, I didn't prepare uh, the, you know, the example sentences that we can uh, translate, but I did bring the quiz, guys. So we're going to have some quizzes in between after each section of words. Mm. Alright, 그러면 나는 얼굴 머리 착용품으로 가볼게요. 자, 얼굴 means face, guys. Face. 음, 얼굴은 face고요. 그 다음에 머리 하면은 여기서는 head or hair예요. Head, hair. 그리고 여기 지금 착용품이라고 나와 있잖아요. 여기 품. 품 means item. 품은 item이란 뜻이고요. Or product, or product, product. 그리고 착용은요. 착용 comes from the uh, the the verb 착용하다. 그러면 여기 페이지 추가하고 추가 설명 해드릴게요. 나는 착용하다. 착용하다. This is a verb that means to wear, and you can think of it as the most versatile verb. So it can be used for pretty much anything that you wear on your body. So you can 착용하다 your 신발, you can 착용하다 your 옷, you can 착용하다 your accessories, mask, glasses, hat. So 착용하다 can be used, you know, on pretty much any, anything that you put on your body. But it does have a formal, you know, feel to it. So uh, usually in like in, in casual conversations, you wouldn't be using 착용하 that much. Mm. But in like, let's say in like formal announcement, uh, telling you to uh, wear a mask, and then in that kind of announcement, in that kind of 
like letter, you can see, you can uh, frequently see tagyonghada being used, but mostly in casual conversation, nobody really uses it. Well, I'm thinking that tagyonghada can be, you know, used for wearing all types of thing that you put on your body. 그냥 그렇게 알아주시면 되고요. 그래서 착용품 would mean the product that you put on your 얼굴 and body. 얼굴, face or head, hair. So uh, for the products, face products, uh, face products, that sounds like makeup. So without makeup, guys, it, uh, that doesn't include makeup. What I mean by 착용 is not uh, applying on your skin. It's more like putting on your body or face. 그래서 for these types of items, you can use either, you can use mostly 쓰다, guys, 쓰다. 이럴 때는 거의 쓰다가 쓰여요, 쓰다, 쓰다. So let's look at this item. 여러분, 요거는 glasses잖아요. Glasses, we call them 안경, 안경, 안경이라고 불러요. 그리고 mask, this is easy. You can call it 마스크, 마스크라고 부를 수 있어요, 마스크. 그리고 요거. Hat or cap, you can call it 모자. 모자라고 부를 수 있어요. 모자. 그리고 for helmet, helmet, we say 헬멧. 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 그리고 이런 wig 있잖아요. Wig. Wig. Wig, we call it 가발, which literally means fake hair. 가발. 가발. 가발, fake hair, fake hair. 그리고 이런 거, hair band 있잖아요. Hair band, hair band. You can say 머리, 머리, 띠. So 띠 means band or belt. So it's a band, a belt or band that you put on your body. So we call it 머리 띠. And oh, this one. I noticed that you know some of. Actually, many of my students are identify themselves as a Muslim. Oh, so in case you're wearing hijab all the time, then you can also use this word hijab. Hijab이라고 하시면 돼요. Hijab, hijab. Good day, me. Oh, so for these kinds of items, you put it on either your face or head or hair. So you can go with this verb, 쓰다, 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 or wear. 쓰다. 그리고 let's move on to the next one. I'll delete this one. 어, 다음에 귀로 넘어갈게요. 귀. 여러분 귀가 뭘까요? 귀. 귀는 ear예요. 귀. 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 음. 그래서 귀 착용품. Uh, something that we wear on our ear. Let's see what kind of items there are, accessories there are. So earring. Earring은요. Earring은 우리가 귀, ear, 거리라고 해요. 귀, 거리. Something that we hang on our ear. Something that we hang on our ear. So you can say 귀, 거리, 귀, 거리. 그리고 요건 이제 hearing aid. Hearing aid인데요. Hearing aid는 보, 청, 기라고 해요. 보청기, 보청기. 여기서 this 청 means hearing or listening. Mm, hearing or listening. And 보 is like complimenting. Compliment as in compensating for, helping. So helping with your hearing machine or device. So 보청기 means hearing aid. Hearing aid. 그리고 어, 이런 거 에어팟은요. For AirPod, we just say 에어팟. <laughs> 에어팟. 에어팟. For normal kinds of earphone, we call them 이어폰. Very easy, right? 이어폰. 이어폰. Earphone. <laughs> and AirPod. 이어폰. 에어팟. 그 다음에 이거는요. 그 헤드폰. 이것도 똑같아요. This sounds exactly the same as English, right? 헤드폰. 헤드폰. 헤드폰이라고 합니다. And then let's look at each of the items first. 일단은 for... 귀 착용품, guys. 귀 착용품. 귀걸이. 귀걸이. You can say 귀걸이를 끼다. 끼다. 일단은 귀걸이는 you can use it with uh, let me change let me change the color maybe 음, 귀걸이를 
끼다 라고 해요 끼다 귀걸이를 아이고 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 어 잠깐만요 My cat just woke up from her nap and she is all over my iPad uh, 아이고 수나 잠깐만 여러분 잠깐만요 Give me a moment 아이고 귀걸이를 어, 끼다 라고 해요 끼다 음, 끼다 그러니까 끼다가요 끼다 uh, original meaning is to stick something in between so you when you put your earrings in your ear hole you kind of you know make it stick in between the two sides of the hole so uh, I hope that makes sense so that's why we can use 끼다 for 귀걸이 끼다 그리고 as the name tells guys as the name tells 귀걸이 you can also say you hang it on your ear 귀걸이를 걸다도 사실 괜찮아요. It's not used very often, but it can be used. But aside from 끼다 and 걸다, the most common verb that is used with 귀걸이 is just 하다. 음, 제일 가장 많이 쓰이는 건 하다예요. 하다. 하다가 제일 많이 쓰여요. So uh, if you don't remember like 끼다 or 걸다, you can just say 하다. 어, 어 귀걸이를 했어요. I'm wearing an ear, uh, earring. 귀걸이를 했어요. So that's convenient, right? 귀걸이를 하다. 그리고 보청기도 마찬가지로 since you kind of stick it in between your ear hole, uh, 귀, 보청기, so we also say we 끼다. 보청기를 끼다 라고 해요. 보청기를 끼다. 어, 보청기를 끼다. 음. 그 다음에 에어팟이나 이어폰도 마찬가지예요. Just, with, uh, just uh, same with AirPod and earphone. Ear, ear, AirPod and earphone. Mm. We say, 끼다, 끼다, because you have to kind of stick it in between your ear hole, right? When you're wearing earphone, so that's why you can use 끼다, 끼다, 음, 끼다. 이어폰을 끼고 있어요. 이어폰을 끼고 노래를 들어요. 그리고 여러분, 헤드폰은요, just like the name suggests, guys, it's headphone, right? It's headphone. It's something that you wear on your head and ear, right? So, usually it goes with two verbs. Mm. Either of them can be used with headphones. So, first is 쓰다, as we learned above here. Oh, 머리 착용품, for 머리 착용품, you can use 쓰다 verb, right? 쓰다 verb. So, that's why with headphone as well, it's something that you put on your head, right? So, you can use 쓰다. It's also something that you kind of put on your ear too. So, 이어폰, 핸드폰을 끼다 라고도 많이 쓰이긴 해요. 핸드폰을 음. 쓰다, 끼다. 음. But uh, the most like grammatically correct way would be using 쓰다. But you will hear some people, some native Korean people saying 핸드폰을 끼다 as well. And it's because of that reason. It's headphone can be considered an item for ear and head. 그래서 헤드폰을 쓰다, 헤드폰을 끼다 할수 있고요. 그리고 이제 눈이랑 손 작용품 볼게요. 눈, 손. 일단 눈은 아이고요. 손은 hand예요. 음, 눈은 아이, 그리고 손은 hand. 손이랑 눈에 쓰는, 어, 눈, 눈에 착용하는 작용품은 어떤 게 있을까요? 일단 여러분 요거는 contact lens잖아요. contact lens, contact lens. And in Korean, we don't say contact lens. In casual, like casually, oh, but we more just say lens, lens, lens usually means a uh, contact lens, mm. contact lens, lens. 그리고 이건 아까 배웠죠, 여러분. 이거 뭐죠? What is this, guys? What is this? This was glasses, which is 안경, 안경이었죠, 안경. Mm. 그래서 눈이랑 손 착용품. 아, 잠깐만요. 이것도 볼게요. 이거는 뭘까요? 이거는 ring is a ring. Ring은 반지예요. 반지. Ring은 반지. 그리고 <웃음> 이런 것들은 다. 이거는 장갑. Mitten, mitten, 장갑. And 이거는 rubber, rubber. 뭐라지? How, how do you call this in English, guys? I forgot. Oh my gosh. Rubber, rubber mitten? No. <웃음> rubber gloves. Sorry, gloves. Gloves. <웃음> gloves. Oh, 고무 장갑. 장갑, so mitten or gloves, you can say 장갑. For rubber gloves, you can say 고무 장갑. 고무 장갑. 
이런 것들은 all of these are what you put on your eye or hand <웃음> and these items usually go with 끼다 as well 끼다 이것도 이제 끼다랑 같이 가요 끼다 근데 여러분 어? Oh, but haven't we learned that 안경 is used with 쓰다? 맞아요 안경이 쓰다랑도 쓰이고 끼다랑도 가끔 쓰여요 음, so 안경 can be used with both 쓰다 and 끼다 you will hear a lot of people using 안경 끼다 as much as 안경 쓰다 음, and it's because 안경 is both an eyewear and uh, uh, face wear <laughs> right? so that's why guys, that's why 음. 음. but 안경 goes on here too 어, 원님 무슨 말인지 모르겠는데요? 어, 안경 goes on here, then you can use 끼다, right? 끼다. 음, 왜냐면 we learned that 귀 for 귀 착용품 also 끼다 is used. So that still makes sense. It still makes sense why 끼다 will be used, right? 음. 그래서 어, 안경 끼다, and 렌즈 끼다, and 반지를 끼다, because it's an item for hand, you can say 반지를 끼다, and also 장갑, or 고무 장갑을 끼다 라고 할수 있어요. 끼다. 음. 끼다. 그 다음에 볼게요. 일단은 이제 팔 착용품으로 가볼게요. So 팔 means arms, right? Arm. So it's something that you put on your arm. And usually those arm accessories, accessor accessories for arms, usually come with clasp. 여러분, clasp 뭔지 알아요, 혹시? Do you guys know what clasp is? 그, you have to kind of... Um, Ah, uh, clasp. Okay, okay. When you so, for example, ah, uh, 여러분 혹시 여기 native English speaker 있으면, if you if there is any native English speakers here, can you please explain what clasp is in English? Clasp. 이렇게 열고 닫는 건데, it's for closing and opening uh, accessories like your bracelet or your uh, necklace. 그런 건데. 열고 닫는 건데 In the meantime, let's look at Talia C's uh, example sentence. 여기는 날씨가 너무 더워서 선글라스를 끼고 있어요. 좋아요. 선글라스. I forgot to add 선글라스. But you can also use 선글라스 with 끼다 because it's an eyewear. Eyewear라서 선글라스 끼다도 되고 선글라스 쓰다도 돼요. Right? Because glasses can be considered both face wear and eyewear. So 끼다, 쓰다, 둘다 돼요. Ah, uh, yeah, it's the thing that closes, opens the accessory. Okay, thank you for the explanation. This I see. Oh, the clasp is there. Usually, uh, most uh, arm accessories come with a clasp, right? So, bracelet, for example. Bracelet. 팔찌. 팔찌. 아이고, 아이고. 팔찌. 팔찌. 그리고 시계. 요거는 시계인데요. So, 시계 means both clock and watch. Oh, clock 도 되고. Watch do tail. 시계. 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 그리고 시계. Uh, if you want to specifically say it's watch, then you can use 손목시계. 손목시계. But uh, most people, most Koreans would just say 시계 for watch. Mm. Uh, these days, nobody really say uh, 손목시계, but it still makes sense. Mm. Still makes sense. Your wrist watch. Wrist watch. Wristwatch. So it means watch. So these types of accessory it comes with clasp. And for the accessories that come with clasp, you can use this verb, guys. 차다. 그때는 차다라고 해요. 차다. 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 I'm not sure how to logically explain this, but 차다 also means to like lock something. Lock. So with clasp, you have to lock it or unlock it to close and open it. So that's why you can use 차다, 차다, 차다. 좋아요. 그 다음에 for as accessories that you wear around your neck or your waist or your neck <laughs> or your neck. For these types of accessories, you can use 매다. 매다 is the most general verb that you can use for something that you wear around your body. So what can you wear around? First, you can wear 목걸이, right? 목걸이. 목걸이도 쓸수 있죠, 목걸이. 목 means, uh, 뭐야? 목 means neck, 
Uh, it can also mean throat, but mo means neck. And if you say kori, it literally means what you hang around your neck. So it means necklace, guys, necklace. And for belt, belt, you can say belt. Very easy, right? Very easy. In Korean, I mean, in pure Korean, you can say horiti, horiti, horiti. Most people would say belt, but horiti is also a good word to know because it's pure Korean word. Oh, pure Korean word. So, hori means waist. Ti, ti, we learned this when we were doing body ti. 여러분, body ti 기억나요? Body ti. Body ti. Hair band or hair belt or hair band, something that you tie around your head. So, ti means that. Ti means kind of like a belt or band. So, hori ti. 그리고, uh, for a necktie, we just say necktie. <laughs> necktie 라고 해요. Necktie. Necktie. 그리고 for mufflers, scarf, you can say 목도리, 목도리. And for a scarf, you can just say 스카프. 스카프라고 하시면 됩니다. 스카프. 근데, 그래서 for 목걸이, guys, for 목걸이, since it's something that you hang around your neck, you can use 메다. 메다 쓸수 있어요, 메다. 메다 쓸수 있고. And just like the name suggests, you can also say 목걸이를 걸다. 걸다도 쓰는데, uh, it's like, normally, normally, people don't say 목소리를 걸다 that much, although it is considered uh, grammatically correct. But uh, 음, 잘안 써요. 걸다는 잘안 써요. 그리고 you can also say 목걸이를 차다 라고 해도 괜찮아요. 목걸이를 차다. And the reason why 차다 can be used with 목걸이 is because oh, we just learned that 차다 can be used for accessories that come with clasp, right? And a lot of necklaces come with clasp. You have to lock it or unlock it. So that's why you can use 차다 as well. 그리고 the most simple, most simple verb that you can use with 목걸이 would be 하다. 그냥 하다라고 해도 괜찮아요. Just like 귀걸이를 하다, wear earring, you can also 목걸이를 하다, 목걸이를 하다. It's very easy. So if you don't remember all these three verbs for 목걸이 that go with 목걸이, then you can just use 하다, 하다. Very simple. 다음에 어, 이제 넥타이. 어, 그리고 이제 벨트, 벨트 or 허리띠, you can 매다, 벨트를 매다 or 허리띠를 매다 because it's something that you put around your waist. 그리고 for seat belt, seat belt, 안전 벨트를 이것도, 요거는 이제 safety belt라고 해요. safety belt, 안전 벨트, 어, 안전 벨트를 매다. 아이고, 아이고, not this me, sorry about that. 안전벨트를 잠깐만 잠깐만 what, what did I do wrong? 벨트를 아 잠깐만요 미안해요 여러분 사실 벨트가 여기서 제가 잘못 설명한 게 하나 있는데 there is one thing I think I was mistaken here 그 your belt when it comes to belt guys 벨트 or 허리띠 벨트를 매다 okay okay 매다 괜찮아요 어, 매다 괜찮은데 어, it's also very commonly used with 차다 차다도 괜찮아요. 차다랑 쓸 수도 있어요. 왜냐면은 a lot of belts comes with clasp as well. 그래서 이것도 차다랑 많이 쓰여요. So 벨타 can not only be used with 메다, but also 차다. But, 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 guys, when it comes to 안전벨트, 안전벨트, 메다 is the correct verb to wear, um, to fasten. 안전벨트를 메다, 안전벨트를 메다. So 이거 좀 헷갈리죠? This can be really confusing. Honestly, it's something that confuses native Korean speakers as well. So when we get asked, like, what verb do I need to use for where for this accessory? A lot of Koreans will have to first think, you know, think at least for, at least for 30 seconds at, and longer time, usually. For me, it's longer time. Mm. So you don't need to feel too discouraged if it feels, you know, hard. Because, you know, it's ridiculously, there's ridiculously diverse verbs for wearing Korean. So I understand that. 그래서 여러분 너무 어, 기분 상해하셔 하지 않아도 괜찮아요. Because everybody finds it difficult, including the native speakers of the language. So don't worry, guys. 그 다음에 목도리. 목도리. 
목도리 is also something that you hang around your neck, so you can use 메다. 목도리도 메다로 쓸수 있어요. 메다. 다 했나? 아, 오케이. Okay. 여기까지 하고 uh, we have a few more pages left, and after that, we're gonna do we're gonna go over a quiz. Ah, quiz on my website. 그래서 Oh, I look forward to the quiz so much. Because learning the words itself is not very, you know, it's not something, it's not the most fun part about learning a language, right? But I feel like when you do a quiz or when you actually engage in activities, like doing quiz or making sentences, that's what makes the class more fun. That's what makes the learning more fun. So bear with me, guys, bear with me. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. And for bag, guys, bag, bag, you can say, 가방, 가방. 가방, 가방 for bag, and for this kind of shoulder bag, guys, shoulder bag, shoulder bag. If you want to say you, uh, in in English, do you guys say wear a bag? I'm not sure if that's the natural expression, but uh, hold the bag, right? Hold the bag. Oh, if you want to say you are holding a shoulder bag, then you can use this verb, guys. This verb, 메다, 메다. And something to note here, guys, or you guys have to note the spelling difference. This one is spelled with this A, and these, all these accessories are spelled with A. Mm. This meda is spelled with A, and for kabang, 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 you can say this A. You can use it with this A, guys, right? Not this A, not this A. Meda, yo, kabang, or meda. Uh, we say we wear two. Ah, okay, okay. We say we wear two. Ah, okay, okay. 좋아요. 메다. Wear a bag. Wear a bag. Okay, 좋아요. 그 다음에 For holding a bag, for carrying a bag, this type of non-shoulder bag, right? This kind of like purses. You can say 가방을 들다. Literally, you hold it. Carry it. 들다. 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 들다 라고 하시면 돼요. 그리고 뭐 핸드백. 가방 핸드. 가방 핸드? 어, 가방 핸드? 이런 거 핸드백이라고 해요. 어, 이런 가방을 이제 핸드백이라고 하기는 해요. 핸드백. 어, these types of bags we call it 핸드백. Handbag. Handbag. <웃음> 그리고 이거는 머리핀이에요. Hairpin. Hairpin. 머리핀. 머리핀. 머리핀은 꽃다랑 같이 쓰여요. 꽃다. 꽃다. 아이고 여러분 여러분 너무 너무 미안해요. I'm so sorry. I forgot to mention. Um, oh, okay. I forgot to mention that you can also use 꽃다. 꽃다. So we learned the earpod or earphone. We, you can use 끼다, right? But you can also use 꽃다. So earpod, earphone. You can use both 꽃다 and 끼다. 꽃다 and 끼다. 꽃다 and 끼다. 그리고 yeah, let's move on to the next part. Some uh, this is the part that mostly girls will be interested in because it's about makeup, guys. Makeup. 일단은 for uh to, to put on makeup like in general, like I put on makeup, I wear makeup all the time. In that case, you can use this verb. 화장하다. 화장하다. 화장하다 is literally a verb that means to do makeup. To do makeup. Oh, and Nim, this is starting to get complicated. I know, right? That's what I was saying. It is complicated, even for native speakers. There's ridiculously many words for wear. <laughs> 네, 그래서 you don't need to remember every single one, like exactly. If, if you do that, that would be so awesome. That would be the best. But uh, just because you cannot do that doesn't mean, you know, you're failing at learning because it's something that everybody finds complicated. But anyways, uh, 화장하다 means to put on makeup. Mm, just put on makeup in general, whether that be lipstick, uh, eyelash, uh, well, mas mascara, 이런 것들 그냥 화장하다라고 하고요. But when you want to say you specifically wear, you wear a specific makeup product, then you can use this verb 바르다. 바르다라고 할수 있어요. 바르다. 바르다. Which will be conjugated in 발라요. 발라요, 발라요라고 하면 돼요. It literally means to apply. So in Korean, in English, you guys can say like, I wear mascara, I wear, I, I wear sun cream. 
Do you guys say I wear sun cream? I'm wearing sun cream, right? But in Korean, we say I apply sun cream. I apply lipstick. I apply mascara. 그래서 this person is putting on 기초 화장품. 기초 화장품, which literally means 기초 means basic, like foundation, and 화장품 means product. So it means skincare product, guys. Skincare product. And skincare product, 기초 화장품, because we consider skincare product also a, a part of makeup as well. So we say 화장품, 화장품. 그리고 this person is probably applying sun cream, right? Sun cream, sun cream. 그리고 이 사람은 립스틱 바르고 있네요, 립스틱. As you can see, it sounds exactly the same as English. Uh, English, lipstick. And this person is putting on mascara, mascara를 바르고 있죠. 그래서 for all these makeup products, you can use 바르다 for wear. Mascara를 바르다, lipstick을 바르다, 선크림을 바르다, 기초 화장품을 바르다. 그리고 어, 요거는 I'm not sure why I edit this, just in case, guys, because I know there are some learners who want, who, who think the more words, the better. They really enjoy you know, really exploring the words. So that's why I included it. Um, 속눈썹, 속눈썹, 속눈썹. 그리고 이거는 눈썹인데요. 눈썹, I sub. 썹이 정확히 뭔지 모르겠다. I'm not sure what sub means exactly. Sub means, but 눈썹 means eyebrow. 그리고 여러분, do you guys remember what 속 was? 속 무슨 뜻인지 기억나요? 속. We learn this when we're doing 겉옷 and 속옷. 겉옷, 속옷 할때 배웠는데 기억나요, 여러분? 겉옷, 속옷. 겉옷 means outwear and 속옷 means innerwear. So, 속옷 means underwear, right? 맞아요, inside, 맞아요, inside. 그래서 속 눈썹 하면 it literally means inside eyebrow. Inside eyebrow, so it means eyelash. So, 눈썹, eyebrow, 속눈썹, eyelash. And if you want to say you are wearing fake eyelash, fake eyelash, you can say 속눈썹을, you literally say we attached it. 붙이다. 속눈썹을 붙이다. 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 라고 할수 있고. 다음에, this is our last part about the accessories. Wow, it's getting so hot here. <laughs> Every time. I do classes, it's getting really hot in my room. But uh, so how would you say to wear perfume? To wear perfume. Wear perfume. Wear perfume, guys. So, 향수 means perfume. 화, 향수, mm. perfume. And uh, if you want to say I'm wearing a perfume, we literally say I sprayed perfume. Sprayed. So you can use 뿌리다. 어, 향수 뿌렸어요. 향수 뿌렸어요. 그래서 어, 좋은 향이 나요. So it has good scent. 음, 향수 뿌리다. 어, 박재현님, 외어를 쓰는군요. 어, 박재현님이 제 생각에는 한국인이신 것 같은데 맞아요. 진짜 he, he's surprised that a lot of the words that uh, a lot of the word, you know, in English, you can use wear for just about pretty much anything. <laughs> so he's surprised about that. Uh, it's actually something that we are jealous of because it's so simple. <laughs> 너무 simple해서 좋은 것 같아요. 음. 아무튼 향수를 뿌리다라고 쓰고요. 향수를 바르다, 바르다. This would mean you literally apply perfume on your skin. 그래서 이거는 잘 쓰이진 않아요. 어, 향수를 바르다라고 쓰지는 않습니다. 음음. Okay. 여러분, 그러면 이제 벗다. Bef uh, before we move on to take off, take off, let's do a quick quiz. I'm so excited about this quiz because yeah, I worked hard to make this, you know, I work hard to complete this quiz. <laughs> okay, 그러면 여러분, 잠깐만요. Luck. 여러분, 제가 Ah, 여러분 미안해요. I'm I'm really not sure why I forgot to mention this clothing, guys, because it's my favorite. <laughs> it's sweatsuit, right? Sweatsuit. For sweatsuit, you can just say 추리닝. 추리닝, guys. 추리닝. 추리닝. 
I think this is, um, it's essential that I include this because a lot of people wear, you know, sweatsuit when they're at home chilling. So uh, it's essential that you know this. Chudining, chudining, it means, uh, chudining means sweatsuit, sweatsuit, sweatsuit. Something that you just randomly wear at home, right? Without having to think about fashion and everything. Sweatsuit, sweatsuit. So let's start the quiz, guys. 저는 집에 있을 때, when I'm at home, when I'm at home, 추리닝을, 추리닝, we learned that it means a sweatsuit. It actually comes from training outfit, training outfit, training 추리닝, training 추리닝. So the answer would be 입어요, 그렇죠, because 추리닝 is a type of clothing that you wear on your body, 입어요. 그 다음에, how would you say I swim with my swimsuit on? I swim with my swimsuit on. 이거는 어떻게 말할까요? 입어서, or 입고, or 입으면. 오, 더워. 입고, 그렇죠. 입고, 좋아요. 입고. 그 다음에, how about 여름에는 양말을 안. So, 양말, what does it mean, guys? 양말 means socks, right? Socks. So, 여름에는, in summer, socks, 양말을 안, I don't, 그렇죠, 신어요, because 양말 is a footwear, footwear, so you have to be using 신다를, 신다, 좋아요, 다음 거 갈게요, so what is not the correct word in the blank, guys, what is not, what is one incorrect word, what is one word that does not go with 안경, guys, that does not go with 안경, so this is pretty tricky. <laughs> this is pretty tricky. But remember that 안경 can be uh, both face wear and eye wear, right? 그렇기 때문에, 오, 딥티님, 맞아요. 차가 아니에요. 안경 can be used with 끼다 because it's an eye wear. 안경 can be used with 쓰다 because it's a face wear. But 안경 cannot be used with 차다 because it does not have a clasp. It's not an accessory that has, that comes with clasp. So. 차니까 아니고요. 그 다음에 친구가 마스크를 블링크고 있어서 못 알아봤어요. So my friend 친구가 마스크, 마스크를 블링크고 있어서 She is wearing a mask basically and uh, your job guys would be to find which verb goes with 마스크. So 못 알아봤어요 means I didn't recognize her. 못 알아봤어요. I didn't recognize her. So this would be 그렇죠. 마스크를 쓰고가 맞아요. 쓰고 쓰고 있어서 음. 좋아요. 그 다음에 어 요거는 뭘까요? 여름에는 in summer 햇빛 때문에 햇빛 means sunlight. 어, so 햇빛 때문에 because of sunlight 모자를 hat or cap blank 고 다녀요. Here 고 다녀요 is a good expression that you guys can use. When you frequently do something, when you go outside, usually not at home, but when you go outside, like for example, you uh, you drive. If you drive a car, you can say 차 타고 다녀요. 차 타고 다녀요. Because something, it's something that you uh, frequently do, regularly do when you're outside. And same with what you're wearing. When you want to say you frequently wear it when you go outside, you can use 고 다니다. 고 다니다. 그래서 모자 goes with 쓰다 verb, right? 쓰다 verb. So 모자를 쓰고 다녀요 means uh, you frequently do that. You regularly do that. 쓰고 다녀요 when you go outside. 그 다음에 이것도 볼게요. This is also part of the tricky, you know, tricky, it's one of the tricky questions. So 귀걸이, 귀걸이 means ear hanger. So earring, earring, 귀걸이. So which verb does not go with 귀걸이, guys. Does not go with 귀걸이. 메고가 아니죠. 그렇죠. 맞아요. 귀걸이를 끼다 돼요. 귀걸이 끼다 돼요. Because you're kind of sticking it in your ear hole. So 끼다 되고. And 귀걸이 하다도 돼요. It can simply just be used with 하다. But you cannot use it with 메다. Because you don't hang your earring around your body part. It, you don't hang it widely. You don't hang it around your neck or your waist. So, 매다는 안 돼요. 그 다음에, 
this one as well. Which one does not go with? Earphone, guys. Earphone. 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 I thought 꽃다 was to stick in. Ah, 꽃다도 stick in 맞아요. It's slightly different. Oh, 근데 꽃다도 stick in 맞아요. 꽃다도 stick in 맞아요. They're a little different. 이끼다, 꽃다. There, there's the, definitely some difference between the two. Mm. But um, 네, 꽃다 also means to stick something in or insert. Oh, and see? 여기서 그렇죠. 이어폰을 쓰고 있다라고 안 해요. Unless it's headphone. Right, headphone for headphone, you can use 쓰다. But as for earphone, you have to stick it in your earring or insert it in your ear hole. So 꽃 or 끼다. But not 쓰다. 이어폰을 꽂고 있어요. 그 다음에 렌즈를 blank 해서 눈이 건조해요. I'm wearing lens, contact lens right now. So 눈이, my eyes 건조해요. My eyes are dry. 눈이 건조해요. 렌즈는 뭐랑 같이 갈까요? 렌즈. 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 렌즈 is an eyewear. Eyewear. So definitely not saw, which is for um, head and face. It's definitely not 차다, because lens is not something that comes with clasp, right? Lens를, it's an eyewear, so you 끼다. For eye, you, eye, you can use 끼다. 껴예요, 껴. Lens를 껴서 눈이 건조해요. 그 다음에 요거는 이제 쉬워요. 시력이 나빠서 이제 시력 하면 your eye ability, so eyesight. 시력, 시력이 나빠서 I have bad eyesight. 시력이 나빠서 매일 안경을 every day 안경 means what guys? 안경. 안경 means glasses. And 안경 since it's something that you wear on your eye or your face, you can use 그쵸. 쓰다, 쓰다. And it's not in one of these choices, but you can also use 기다 for 안경, right? 기다 because it's an eyewear. So 쓰다, 기다, 둘다 됩니다. 그 다음에 이제 손이 시려워서 이제 손이 시렵다. 손이 시렵다 means your hands feel cold. So we don't say 손이 추워요. 손이 추워요. We say 손이 시려워요. My hands are freezing. Oh, because of the cold weather, my hands are freezing. 손이 시려워요. 손이 시려워서 gloves or mitten 장갑을 blank 거예요. 장갑 is a handwear, handwear, handwear. 그래서 장갑은 뭐랑 같이 갈까요, 여러분? 장갑, 장갑. 기억이 안 나면? 아, 박재현님. 박재현님이 이렇게 쓰셨어요. 한국어 왜 이렇게 어렵죠? <laughs> 맞아요. 진짜 native speaker, in, even in native speaker's point of view, Korean is quite difficult. I mean, there are easy parts, of course, but when you actually get deep into it, like explore specific parts of Korean, it really is quite tricky. I agree with you, Jaehyun님. Jaehyun님, 저도 그렇게 생각합니다. 음, 바, 참고로 박재현님 is a native Korean speaker. 음, 아무튼 잠깐만요. 끼다죠, 끼다, 여러분. 장갑은 여기서 배웠죠? A handwear. Handwear는 goes with 끼다. 끼다라고 했으니까 여기는 장갑을 낄 거예요.라고 할수 있습니다. 그 다음에 이제 아빠가 자주 <웃음> 시계를 항상 blank고 다녀요. 시계. 여기서 시계 하면은 손목 시계, watch를 말하죠. So 아빠가 사준 시계, the watch that I that my dad bought for me, 항상 always blank고 다녀요. blank고 다녀요. So what's the verb that goes with 시계, guys? 시계. For wearing an accessory that has clasp on it. Something that you have to unlock and lock to wear. Which one you should should you be using, guys? 그렇죠. 차고, 차고, 차고. Oh, you guys are doing better than I thought. Oh, 너무 잘해주고 있는데요? Oh, most of you got the answers correctly. I mean, all of you in the chat section. 그래서 차다, 맞습니다. 차다, 시계를 항상 차고 다녀요. We learned that 고 다녀요 can be used after a verb when you want to uh, when you want to emphasize, when you want to indicate that you do that verb when you go out regularly, frequently. 자고 mm. 다녀요. 그 다음에, 어, 요거, 요거는 그렇게 어렵진 않아요. If you guys know, 
the meaning of each noun, 정장 and 구두 and 넥타이. Oh, this wouldn't be too hard to find, guys. So, 일단은 처음부터 볼게요. 내일, 내일 면접이 있어서 내일 면접이 있어서 Tomorrow I have an interview. So, 정장을 blank. 정장, 정장. 기억나요? 정장? 정장 means formal suit. Formal suit, so 네, suit, suit, formal wear. 그리고 구두 means dress shoes. Necktie, obviously, it would mean necktie. Necktie. 그러면, obviously, 정장은 you 입고, 그쵸? 정장을 입고. 그리고 구두, as for shoes, as for shoes, you wear it, you 신다. 그렇죠. 그리고 넥타이를, 그렇죠. 이메요, 이메. It's not this 메. It's this 메, guys. It's 메 with this 에. This 에. The spelling, as you can see, are different. And this 메 써요 is used for bag, shoulder bag, wearing a bag. But this 메 써요 should be used when you're tying something around your body part, such as your neck or waist. 그래서 1번이 맞습니다. 좋아요. 잘하고 있어요, 여러분. 그 다음에, 자, 이제 안전벨트, 안전벨트, safety belt, so seat belt. 나는 차에 탈 때는, when you're in a car, 차에 탈 때는 안전벨트, seat belt를 꼭, like 꼭, make sure to you definitely have to, 꼭 차세요, or 매세요, or 매세요. So 매세요, these two have different uh, spelling. So I would like you guys to uh, select the correct answer. 매, 매, 맞아요. 안전벨트를 요매요, 요매, 요매. Something that you put around your waist. Uh, so you can use 매다, 안전벨트를 매다. 안전벨트를 매다. Uh, but 허리띠 옷비 차세요. 아, 허리띠는 차다도 되고, 오해님, 차다도 되고, 매다도 돼요. Both 차다 and 매다 are used. Mm. 그 다음에... 가방을, oh, let's try this one, guys. This time it's 가방, guys, 가방. 가방은 blank고 학교에 갔어요. I went to school with my bags on. Here, what would be the answer? 그렇죠, 딥티님 is the first to answer. 매다, it's used with this 매, not the first 매. It's used with this 매. 가방 is used with this 매. Always remember, guys, always remember. 가방을 메고 학교에 갔어요. 그 다음에 여기도 볼게요. 헤드폰을 쓰세요? or 차세요? or 거세요? What would be the verb that goes with headphone? As the name suggests, it's headwear. So, you should be using which verb, guys? Which verb? 어떤 걸 쓰면 좋을까요? 쓰세요. 그렇죠. 쓰세요. For face and head, you can use 쓰세요. 쓰세요. 좋아요. 쓰세요. 그 다음에, uh, how about, 저는 매일 선크림을 blank. 선크림을, so 선크림 is a makeup product, right? So when you put on, when you wear makeup product, we say we apply makeup product, right? We apply it on our skin or on our body part. So, 그렇죠. You can use 바르다 verb, which would be conjugated in 발라요. 저는 매일 선크림을 발라요. I always put on sun cream. I always wear sun cream. 어, 이 다음에 혹시, 혹시 is an adverb that is very frequently used in questions. It literally translates to by any chance. By any chance. So, 혹시 향수 향수 means scented water, scented water, so it means perfume. 그래서 혹시 향수를 뿌렸어요, or 입었어요, or 발랐어요. 뭐가 맞을까요? Did you by any chance, are you by any chance wearing a perfume? 네, 그렇죠. 뿌렸어요. We say we sprayed perfume, not apply perfume. So 향수를 뿌렸어요가 맞습니다. 그 다음에... 볼게요. 아, 아 이제, 이제는 take off 들어갈 차례예요, 여러분. It's been about an hour and a half. 어, 여러분 힘들어요? Are you guys tired? 힘들어요? If you guys are tired, 어, you can always leave and then come back to watch the playback. 
but if you have enough uh, strength and motivation to continue, you're welcome to stay with me. Uh, so let's learn all the verbs that apply, not all the verbs, but most common verbs that uh, correspond to take off, take off in Korean. So this is the most general verb that is used for taking off. 벗다, 벗다, 벗다. 어, 오해님, 화장실에 가고 싶어요. 화장실 갔다 오세요. 화장실 갔다 오세요. 음, 저는 계속 할 거예요. I, I'm going to continue, but uh, you, you, you can feel free to go to the bathroom. 음, 여기는 like, this part isn't like too tricky, so you can miss a few minutes. 음, 괜찮아요. 아무튼 벗다, 벗다. 벗다, 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 벗다 means to take off and it's used for taking off your clothes, taking off your shoes, taking off your mask, taking off your hat, taking off your helmet or taking off your glasses. So as you can see, you can notice that 벗다 can be used for clothing, shoes and head face wear, right? Head face wear. So that's easier. Um, that's easier than 입다's variations. I mean, wearers. So many different verbs that correspond to wear, right? Um, so, 벗다, 벗다. So, 옷을 벗어요. 마스크를 벗어요. 신발을 벗어요. 모자를 벗어요. 헬멧을 벗어요. 안경을 벗어요. 음, 하고 할수 있고, 그 다음에 uh, as for accessories, guys, that we put on our like small body parts, such as like earrings, you know, uh, um, earrings and a uh, ring or an earphone, you can use 빼다, which means to take out, uh, take out. When we're taking off accessories, such as earrings or earphones or ring or, e or, or necklace, uh, not necklace, no, but these types of small accessories, we use Beta, beta, to take it out, to take it out from our body. Beta, beta. Mm. 다음에, um, 다음에, 어, 이제 이런 것들 있잖아요. 팔찌, 팔찌, bracelet, 그리고 목걸이, 그리고 목도리, scarf, necktie, or 시계, or um, 안전벨트, or belt. These are something that you have to either untie or unlock, right? Untie or unlock. And in these kinds of, in this case, you can use the verb 풀다, 풀다. Uh, 풀다 literally means to uh, solve. It also means to untie, unfasten, undo. 그런 뜻이기 때문에 uh, 풀다 can be used with these types of accessories, guys. So, 그래서 팔찌를 풀다. 목걸이를 풀다, 그리고 목도리, 목도리, or 스카프를 풀다, 넥타이를 풀다, 그 다음에 시계를 풀다, 시계를 풀다, 그 다음에 안전벨트를 풀다, 그 다음에 벨트, or 허리띠를 풀다. 그렇게 말할 수 있고요. As for taking off your makeup, taking off your makeup, we say we erase our makeup. Mm. So, 화장을 지우다. 화장을 지우다. You can use 화장을 지우다 to remove makeup. 화장을 지우다. If you want to say you want to remove sun cream, 선크림을 지우다. If you want to say uh, you remove a mascara, 마스카라를 지우다. Oh, so, 지우다 is a universal verb that can be used for taking off your makeup. So that's short, right? That's way too short compared to uh, the, the previous part, the wear part. <laughs> Alright, l right. now let's move on to the quiz. The quiz is going to go to the quiz. Blink, go to the quiz. So here, you would have to, um, you would have to, uh, you would have to find the verb that corresponds to take off with 신발. Right? 신발, mm. shoes, 신발. So, 신발을 벗고 들어오세요. 벗고 들어오세요. 좋아요. 벗고. For 신발, you can use 벗고. How about earphone, guys? What do we do with earphone, guys, in Korean? We say we take it out, right? Take it out. So, what is the word for take out? 이어폰을 blink 주세요. Please take off your earphone. 
literally please take out your earphone. Which one should you be using? 그렇죠. 빼다를 써야 돼요. 이어폰을 빼주세요. 좋아요. 그 다음에 차에서 내리기 전에 여기서 내리다. This verb means to get off. To get off from a vehicle. To get off a car. So 차에서 내리기 전에 Before you get off the car, 안전벨트를 Safety belt, as in a seat belt. Seat belt를 unfasten. How would you say unfasten? 그렇죠. 어, 안전벨트는 풀다랑 같이 가요. 풀다, 풀다. 안전벨트를 푸세요가 맞습니다. 안전벨트를 푸세요. Please unfasten or literally untie, undo your safety belt, seat belt. 그 다음에 매일 밤, 매일 밤, every night. 어, 자다 means to sleep. 기 전에, before, right? Before going to sleep, every night. 화장을. I remove my makeup. So in Korean, we say we erase our makeup. So what is the word for erase, guys? Erase. Erase. 그렇죠. 지워요가 맞죠. 지워요. 지워요. 화장을 지워요. 그래서 지워요가 됩니다. 그 다음에 이거는 I briefly mentioned this specific verb that means wear and this can be used for pretty much anything you wear whether it be clothes, shoes, accessories but it has a more formal connotation so it's not used as much in casual setting in casual conversation but do you guys remember what that word was? to wear to wear oh, 맞아요 착용하다 예요 착용하다 어. 사용하다, 이용하다, 활용하다, they all mean use. They mean slightly different things. Oh, wow. Well, uh, each of these three means slightly different, slightly different thing, but they all mean to use. But 착용하다 is the one that means to wear. Mm, to wear something on your face or body. So 착용하다가 맞습니다. 그러면 이제 result를 볼까요? 와, 다 맞았습니다. 음, 여러분 잘했어요. 음, 이거는 this is the grade for all of us, 네, all of us got perfect score. <laughs> 그리고 I'll make sure to link the, I'll make sure to share the link to this quiz after I finish this class. And you can find it on either the description box or in the comment section. Okay, 그리고 여러분, have you guys checked the quiz set? Quiz set 혹시 확인하셨나요? That I linked uh, in the community post. Uh, you can also find it in the description box of this video. But uh, quiz is set. If you like to review all the words that we learned in this class, you can use the set. 잠깐만요. Let me... 이거를... 잠깐만요. 이거를... Ah, there you go. 여기 quiz is set 보이죠? 어, 요거. Wear takeoff items. 여기서 이렇게 남말 카드 남말 카드로 이렇게 복습하시면 됩니다. 셔츠. You can also use the audio function. Mm. You can also feel free to explore Quizlet by using the study mode. This is the mode that I find most helpful. 학습하기. Learn mode. Because it gives you automatic quiz. So like 옷 means clothes, right? Let me make it bigger. 옷 means clothes. And 입다 means to, to wear, put on clothes. T-shirt or T, it means T-shirt. And you can always change the setting uh, according to your preference. So for example, uh, if you like to do a typing test as well, you can always uh, set, uh, you can always turn this, uh, turn this mode, up, mode on. If you like to study with flashcard, you can always turn on the card mode. And you can also change the language, guys. Uh, this is in Korean because I changed the setting, language setting to Korean, but you can always use the language that you're most comfortable in mm, for the option. So you can find it in the in my on my on my what what was I saying? Uh, find it in the in the description box. Sorry, <laughs> my brain is just yeah. My brain. There's something wrong with my brain <laughs> after uh, after after every class. There's something wrong with my brain. But uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for joining this class. Mm. I'm really glad that you guys have been, you know, more active than usual. Maybe because it's 
uh, less grammar focused, less like, I guess like more easier class. Maybe that's why, but I don't know. I, I, I just feel so happy today that you guys were, you know, participating really actively and they, I had such a good time and thank you so much for joining and I'll make sure to link all the class files and links in the des description box or in the comment section and I'll see you guys in my next video or live class. Mm. Oh, oh Taemin-ni, Taemin thank you so much for your continuous support. Oh, it, it means so much to me. Thank you so, 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 so freaking, freaking much. Thank you. I will make sure to eat ice cream. Thank you. Thank you every time. Do I have a bone? 그러면 uh, I will end the class here, guys. And 음, 마음의 문을 열으세요. 똑똑. 아 선생님 마음의 문을 열으세요. 어 네. 저의 제 마음은 활짝 열려 있는데요. My my mind is open right now. 네. 음. <웃음> okay. 그리고 어디 갔어? 어, 좋은 하루 보내세요, 빌리아나님. You also have a great day. Thank you so much, everyone. Mm. Thank you so much, 샬루님. 샬루님. I'm so glad that you had fun with fun with me uh, while taking this class. Uh, no, that site has no. Uh, that site has audio, Jiranim. That site has audio. Mm, it has. I guarantee. I I use this when I learn Chinese. It has audio, but um, uh, if you cannot. If it doesn't work, uh, it's probably be because of the set setting, but I'll try to adjust that so that the audio works for everyone. But it does work, I promise, Journey. Audio works on Quizlet. And uh, thank you so much, guys. Thank you. Mm. I wish I could hug every one of you who were joining this class, and, but I can't do that physically. <laughs> so I send you, I send out my virtual hug and, oh, I will send, I mean, I will finish this class now. Thank you so much. Thank you so, 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 so much every time. Oh, 잘 자요? Ah, 지금 이거 night time 아닌데요, 나부리님? It's afternoon time. <laughs> 잘 시간은 아니지만, uh, if it's night time for you, then 잘 자요 to you too. 그리고 탈리아님, oh, I love you too. 저도 진짜 사랑합니다. 매일 이렇게 적극적으로 표현해 주셔서 감사합니다. 네. 어, 제말 알아들으셨길 <웃음> 바랍니다. 영어로 하면 좀 쑥스러워서 I'm trying to express my love to you in English, so I I'm, I'm using Korean instead. <웃음> 하지만 사랑합니다. 그리고 어, 오웬님, thank you. 오웬님 진짜 감사합니다. 진짜 감사해요. Thank you so much for the gift. I will make sure to buy, you know, lots of food so I have enough energy to continue making uh, Korean classes <웃음> to to you guys. All right, 이제 진짜 끌게요, 여러분. I will really finish the class now. Mm. Thank you so much, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Mm. 나보리니, wow, it's that late, and you still join. Thank you. Okay, I'm really ending. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye. <laughs>